It's fantastic to have you here with us at the East End Film Festival. Congratulations on the film. Um, for people who weren't lucky enough to see it tonight, can you tell us a little bit about your character and the journey she goes on? So Anna is approaching her 30th birthday and the, her nearest and dearest are in a position where they want to get her out of her current situation, which is living in a shed at the bottom of a mum's garden making videos with their thumbs where they talk to each other, watching Rocky on the laptop and basically having no prospects. <laughs> and um, But she's incredibly content with this hermit lifestyle, but it takes the kind of the encouragement from her mum, her nan, her best friend, a new friendship with a seven-year-old cowboy and um, and all that to bring her out of her shell. And she's got a fear of face in the world because she's a recently bereaved twin and although that doesn't sound like it's a comedy, it actually is. But within the world that she's created, she still gets to exist being able to see her twin, so it's quite scary and daunting to step out into the real world. The rest of the cast, 90% um, of them are friends for, through either the industry or through life, and uh, Rachel Tunnard, I've been involved in this project since kind of Rachel's concept came about, and it's been an emotional journey, it's been a long journey, but one worth the the fight which is making a low budget British film but it's been wonderful and you know you get to hang out with all your mates for six weeks and then get to see the final product at the East End Film Festival so it's really exciting. What does it mean for you to be a part of the East End Film Festival and uh, why are events like this so vitally important? They're so important because they showcase cinema that doesn't have the budget to be on it you know a thousand screens and um, get posters on the tube and all that kind of thing and it's in a celebration of of the independent cinema and you know this is an amazing cinema and it, it's really important that places like Picture House which they do they support cinema and the East End Film Festival is a showcase for that it gets the press down here it gets it gets an audience it gets you to interact with the filmmakers ask questions and it's it's really exciting to be a part of that I've lived in London for 15 years and my career started here and anything that is London based and celebrates cinema is really important to me. Well I think it gives you a window into cinema that you wouldn't necessarily um, uh, like, uh, well it's, a, it's quite a difficult question that because for me indie cinema has always been really important like even as a kid I watched a lot of indies but f I think I watched a lot of American indies and I feel like we have so much homegrown talent and we don't necessarily know about it. And this is what a festival like this does. It, it, it highlights it and it gives it a voice and, and that's really exciting and also makes it completely, really accessible, you know, and, and it, it's, it's a way for new filmmakers, new actors to, to have a platform to showcase their work and to be excited about their work and to get people talking because social media, all those kind of things are so important but without screenings, no one's going to get to see the film so it's all good and well hearing about them but if no one puts them on, no one gets to see them. What's coming up next for you? Um, I'm currently shooting season three of Broadchurch and I've just wrapped on Journeyman which is Paddy Considine's next feature so very exciting times. Hello, my name is Rachel Tanard and I am the uh, writer and director of Adult Life Skills. Adult Life Skills is a film about a girl who's lost her twin brother who has um, moved back to her small rural hometown and started living in a shed at the bottom of her mum and nan's garden and she started making videos with her thumbs and her mum and her nan and everyone is trying to get her out of the shed and having a proper life again and she doesn't really want to and it's a story about um, her overcoming that and not what somebody thought it was this afternoon. I did some press this afternoon and somebody said, so this, is a, so this is a film about people getting on the property ladder. I was like, no, no it isn't. <laughs> It's film about sheds. I love sheds. Who doesn't love sheds? Like, yeah, I read somebody did an interview with me the other day and they had a cue, like a um, true or false about uh, sheds in it. And they were saying that 70% um, of people in the UK have got sheds. And like, we are a nation of shed lovers, if not EU lovers. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I lived in a shed in uh, Finsbury Park when I was younger. When I first started working in the film industry, my first job was as an assistant editor, and uh, I kind of got like paid in like packets of crisps and and pints of beer. I didn't earn any money, and so I couldn't afford to live anywhere. And so my cousin had a shed at the bottom of her garden in Finsbury Park, so I lived there. 
Jodie. Jodie is a is a friend of mine. That's like how she was perfect for the role. Basically, uh, there's two girls in the film. The film is quite a lot to do with their sort of friendship, um, and both of those are Jodie and Rachel are both by really good personal friends. Um, I went to university with Rachel and Jodie came to Rachel's 21st birthday party and we met there. Um, and then about like six years later we went on holiday somewhere together and we were saying it would be really nice to do a film together or work together um, and we weren't getting the opportunity and so I went hey I'm gonna write something when we were a bit drunk and um, and then like two months later I'm stood here presenting it to you. No, then like eight years later uh, we've done it and so Jodie was perfect for the role because I wrote it for her is the truth um, and and her character is kind of a mix of me and her and uh, Rachel who plays the character of Fiona we're all it's like a mishmash of a lot of us and some videos some videos is just something that I do at home they're on YouTube <laughs> like you can find them um, I make videos with my thumbs by sellotaping my mobile phone to the table and then writing a script and getting my thumbs to uh, act it out together. And um, when I was first writing the script and people were saying, are you going to direct it? And I was going, no. Uh, and they were asking for something that would help to communicate the tone of the film and things like this. Because um, I was saying, I'm going to make a comedy about grief. Uh, the thumbs really help to sort of communicate the tone to people of the sort of dialogue and things like that. And then I put them, like I gave them to the character and she started making them within the film. I love being here. It's absolutely amazing. I love the East End Film Festival. I like lived in East London for um, like eight years or something in a variety of different sheds. No, there wasn't any sheds. But um, yeah, look, I, I lived here for a long time and it's very close to my heart and the festival is getting bigger and bigger and it's really amazing that they're supporting sort of emerging films and emerging talent that wouldn't necessarily get the kind of showcase that um, the festival brings. And I mean, we've got a packed cinema tonight and I just I don't think you'd get that without the kind of buzz and things of the festival. So it's massively important. It's brilliant. What do you think independent cinema gives audiences they perhaps don't get from other kinds of cinema? Well, certainly authentic female friendships in the UK. <laughs> I mean, I think that's part of the reason why Jodie and Rachel and I were like, hey, let's make a film, is because um, we didn't see any sort of realistic representations of ourselves and our friendships and families within British cinema. And I think that's because by the time you're making something for like... 50 million dollars or 200 million dollars like it goes through so many processes and so many voices and so many different kind of um script development journeys that what you get at the end is quite homogenized and i think when you're doing independent cinema you are able to stay more sort of authentic to uh the kind of emotional truth and realistic sort of situation of relationships but what's really interesting is that like it was, it was, I was in an interview the other day and somebody said, um, so you've written a really immature female protagonist. And I was going, is she immature or is she just struggling? Like, she's kind of like me and Dodie and Rachel and are we really immature? Maybe we are. I actually think that we're mature enough for our age. We just like having fun and playing games and keeping that kind of like, ball of lightness in the air at times and so um yeah I don't know I think it's the problem is that most people have been um most of the scripts that go out there have been written by men and the the kind of female characters tend to be quite one-dimensional maybe if there's more female writer directors then you'll get more complexity <laughs>